Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Squad Builder. Today, I'm going to bring you guys the best 50k team on FIFA 17, in my opinion. Now, for those of you who don't know how this series works, I build five different teams for a specific budget. I then go and play a few games with each team, and the best team I then make a video on. This team here is really, really good. It's got everything you need for a good team. It's got pace in the attack, it's got a really good well-balanced midfield, it's got a defensive midfielder, an attacking midfielder, and a creative midfielder. It's got a really good balanced defense, everyone's got good work rates, everyone is tall, and you've got good pace in the defense as well. Also, two five-star skillers are in the team. You've got a striker who is very, very quick, but also tall and good in the air, and has four-star skills. So overall, this team is very well-balanced, and has everything you really need in a team. Now, it will cost you around 50,000 coins uh, right now during Team of the Year. On Xbox, it's around about 45k on PlayStation, maybe a little bit more. However, I do have some cheap alternatives to show you guys, so even if you are on maybe Xbox 360 or PS3, or where prices are quite a lot higher, I do just have a couple of cheap alternatives you can put in, and you can just put one player in for another, and it's gonna bring the team's value down quite a lot. Also, if the team does rise up in price after Team of the Year, since I'm recording this video during Team of the Year when prices are slightly lower, then again, you can just use the cheap alternatives and it's going to make the team around 50,000 coins and it will still be very, very good. But starting off in the goalkeeper position, we're going to be going with probably the best goalkeeper on this game who isn't massively expensive and that is Jack Butland. Now many many people use him in their foot champions teams week in week out and I mean you guys know it. you'll have come up against him loads on ultimate team. He's just such a good keeper I would definitely recommend trying him out in the team. If you do prefer someone like Begovic he's also very very overpowered you can use him but personally I would go with Butland. You can go with any Premier League keeper of your choice but so yeah, I said, Butland is my choice. In the left-back position, we're going to be going with a player from the Bundesliga. This is a hybrid, as always. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really overpowered left-back right here called Wendell. He is Brazilian, playing for Bayer Leverkusen, and some really good stats. 86 pace. Going forward, he's got all the stats you need with great passing and dribbling. Over 70 for both of those stats. And defensively as well, good defending and good physical. High-medium work rates too, which is what I prefer on my fullbacks. It means they get forwards and really help your team out on the attack, but also defensively, they're always going to be there, especially with the Staberhost attacking uh, player instruction, which is what I do use on my fullbacks. And the defense in this team is quite cheap, but they're all really, really good. I decided to put more coins into the attack of this team, because the attack and midfield of this team is very, very good. The defense is really overpowered and quite cheap, and has some really good kind of hidden gems in. And Wendell is probably one of my favorite left backs on the game. He's a really, really good player, and if you haven't tried him out, definitely would recommend him. Now in the two centre-back positions, these are both going to be Premier League centre-backs and they're both really, really good, cheap, overpowered ones. The first one is going to be Gabriel Paulista from Arsenal and then next to him I'm going to be using Ogbonna. Now if you look at Gabriel's stats, 70 pace, 80 defending, 76 physical, he's also got low high work rates and he is 6 foot 2, so really tall player, perfect work rates, he's always just going to be back, so very very hard to get past him on the counter, and also he does have 65 passing, which is not bad at all for a centre back, and does mean that you can pass it around the back of it without worrying about losing possession with him, and uh, yeah, he's actually a really good player, he was man of the match in a few of the games I did play, and uh, for a 79 rated player, one of the most overpowered centre backs on this game in my opinion, and next in we've got Ogbonna, a very similar player, However, he's slightly quicker and has slightly better defending. He doesn't have the passing or dribbling that uh, Gabriel does have, but he's just a real kind of physical presence in the defense. He's got 7-7 seven, seven physical, really good strength, 83 defending, 72 pace, 6 foot 3, medium high work rates. I mean, those stats are just perfect, and he's going to cost you under a 1,000 coins. Such a good player. Definitely, definitely would recommend him. And in the right back position, we're going to be going with a player very, very similar to Wendell. And, uh, yeah, very similar statistically because he's very, very quick. And that is going to be Abate right here. You can use Florenzi if you want, but personally, I really like Abate on this game. He's got 88 pace. He's got good dribbling, decent passing, good defending, good physical, high medium work rate as well, just like Wendell. And very, very similar. Definitely would recommend trying him out. Now, moving into the midfield, we're going to start off in the right centre mid position with Pjanic. He is a very, very good player on this game. A lot of you will have not used him really because he doesn't have amazing pace or shooting or stats like that. But as a creative midfielder, there aren't many players better than him on this game, especially for the price. He'll cost you between about twelve and 15,000 coins. And he's got four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. His free kicks are very, very good. As you'd expect in real life, his free kicks are amazing. And on FIFA, they're very, very similar. Uh, he can put the free kicks into the top corner. Probably like one in three free kicks, if you know how to take free kicks, are going to go in with him. His free kicks are really good, and um, yeah, definitely would recommend taking set pieces with him. But also his passing is amazing. 86 passing. He can pick out some great through balls, some lobbed through balls over the top. They always get to the player you're passing to. 
And um, yeah, his passing is very, very good. He's got decent defending and physical as well. Medium, medium work rates. He just sits in the midfield, plays passes all over the pitch, and definitely is a great player on this game. He's got good dribbling too, and I really did enjoy using him. Now, in the middle of the pitch, we're going to be going with the more kind of attacking midfielder in the team. So the player who gets forward and uh, gets the most goals. And they're not in the Kelsey way. They're actually in the Premier League. And uh, it's a player who plays for Liverpool. He's had a great season so far. Could be getting a winter upgrade. He could have slot into this team instead of him. Um, but uh, yeah, he's actually got a very, very good card. It is Adam Lalana, and I don't see many people using him. He's got five star weak foot and four star skill moves, which is really, really good. It means he can shoot on either foot, makes his long shots really good from the edge of the penalty area on corners. If you just play the ball into the top of the box, he can go for some good long shots. So his long shots definitely are very, very good. Would recommend shooting from range with him. He's got decent pace, decent shooting, decent passing, and if you use the Maestro chemistry style on him, it's going to boost his stats really, really well. It boosts up his shooting, passing, and dribbling, and just gives him a really, really good, well-balanced attacking card. And um, yeah, definitely would recommend trying him out. Don't see many people using him, and uh, he's one of my favourite Premier League midfielders on this game. And in the left sentiment position, we're going to be going back to the Bundesliga with an extremely overpowered player. I mean, you guys will have all come up against him and probably all used him it is Renato Sanchez. He's so overpowered, he'll cost you like 1.5k right now, which is so cheap. And his stats are ridiculous. He's the more kind of defensive midfielder in the team since he's got really good physical. He's very, very strong, a real physical presence in the midfield. He's quick as well. He's just got all all round very well balanced stats. Uh, I'm using the Maestro chemistry on him because that does boost up his shooting, uh, passing, and dribbling, which is some of his lower stats, just to get that passing up to around 75, 76, because 70 passing isn't the best. Uh, but uh, with the Maestro chemistry on, definitely does improve that, and that uh, just finishes off the midfield. It's a perfect midfield, a very, very solid defense as well. And um, yeah, the team is just completed by the strike force, which is where I have ended up spending most of my coins. So in the left mid position, we're going to be going with another player from the Bundesliga, and Right here, you don't have to go with the player I've got because you can use some of the cheaper alternatives, but I've gone with Frank Ribery, and he's so, so good. As a five-star skiller on this game, he's one of the best I've used, and he'll cost you like 15,000 coins, which is crazy. He's got 82 pace, 76 shooting, 83 passing, 90 dribbling, and five-star skill moves. His dribbling is so, so good. He just glides past players easily, and I'm going to play a game after this as well, and I'll try and show you guys just how good his dribbling is. But uh, as I said, he's around 15,000 coins. If you guys don't have the coins, all you need to do is just bring in Coleman, who's around 1.5k, and that's just instantly shaved off like 12k from this team's budget. So even if you're on PlayStation and the team's like 65k or so, you're still going to be able to afford it if you just get Coleman instead. You can get Douglas Costa maybe if you want to instead uh, as well. But yeah, personally, Rebri is very, very good. I wouldn't really want to go without him in the team, although Coleman is as well a very, very good player. Now in the right mid position, we're going to be going with another player who has got five star skill moves and uh, is a player in the Calcio A uh, or the Serie A, whatever you do want to call it. And that is Juan Cuadrado. Absolute beast on this game. He's so quick. 92 pace. You really do feel that in game. He just burns past defenders with ease. 87 dribbling and very similar to Ribery. His his dribbling is just so, so good. And with that pace, it makes him so hard to get the, or the ball off, really. I mean, you can beat someone with maybe a scoop turn and just knock it ahead of them, and there's no catching up with you. I mean, if you just do any skill, really, you've got the acceleration just to burst away from the defender as soon as you've beaten them, and it makes him just a very, very deadly player on this game. And once he gets into the penalty area, he's got good shooting and passing as well. And uh, yeah, definitely a player I would recommend a lot of fun to use on this game. And in the strike force, to complete the team, we're going to be going with the main man, the striker. The player who is the most expensive person in the team at around about 18,000 coins at the time of recording. You'll have seen him on the thumbnail. And it is Daniel Sturridge. 84 rated. 89 pace, 83 shooting, he's got really, really good finishing stats, he's got the outside of the foot finesse shot trait, I do believe, which makes him very, very effective at finishing, because he can go for a finesse shot, no matter what the angle is, he can take it on either foot, because he's got a decent weak foot, he can take it inside and outside of the foot, and his finishing really is next level, you'll end up finding out that when you play with him, he just finishes off pretty much every single opportunity he gets. He's such a clinical player. He has four star skill moves too. He's six foot two, so really, really good in the air. And he's got good strength there. 70 physical is not bad at all. The chemistry I'll use on him, it doesn't really matter. You can go with Marksman, you can go with Hawk, or you can go with Hunter. It depends what you want. If you like playing the balls over the top and getting in behind, then I'd go with Hunter as it does improve his pace. Although he does already have really good pace, so I've just gone with Marksman to improve his dribbling, which is 81. Just want to push it up, up a bit more because that improves his agility and balance, and I really like players who are really agile. So I've gone with uh, Marksman. You go with Hawk, though, you do want a slight boost 
to his pace instead. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is the completed team. I'll, I will go into a game with in a minute, show you guys just how good it is. The player instructions I use, stay by also attacking on the fullbacks and also on Renato Sanchez. And then get in behind on all of my strike force with stay central on storage as well. Overall, this team was so, so fun to use and it is an amazing team. Everything in this team was perfect. The defence, although they all look low rated and I, I, I don't think many of you will have really used that many players in this team in the defence. It's so, so good. The defence in this team was really, really solid and especially Butland. I mean, Butland just saved everything. It's so hard to get past Butland. He's so overpowered. That's why people who are in like top 100 in foot champions use teams with legends and things and they still use Jack Butland in goal just because he is that good. The midfield was very, very good. Sanchez, we all know how good he is. Such a good box-to-box -box player there. Very good defensively. Uh, Lallana, really good creative player, and his long shots were great as well. Uh, Pjanic, his creative kind of passing ability was amazing, and great free kicks as well. Ribery as well, he can put in some good free kicks too. Just kind of mix up depending on what side you're taking the free kicks from, use either Pjanic or Ribery. And then Quadrado and Ribery, their dribbling, their pace, their skills, it was just so, so fun to use. Like, you could just get a pass player so easily, and I was scoring some really nice skill goals using them. And then Sturridge, he's just so clinical, he's quick, he's strong, very good in the air, perfect all-round striker. So that is the team, so without further ado, let's go on into a game and see how good this team actually is. So here we go, this is my opponent's team, he's got a full Man United team, and then he's just got a random Brentford right mid. I have no idea what this team is. It's a bit weird. He's got like some youth players. He's got is that Wilson I think at centre forward, Rashford. It's a really weird team. Full United team. Jose Mourinho as manager too. So I'm not too sure. Hopefully we can get the win though. Pjanic plays the ball into Lalana. Nice pass in some space there. He can play that into Sturridge. Hold the ball up. Play that through the middle. Great ball by Sturridge. That's put Lalana straight through now. You can just hold the ball up. Play that back to Renato Sanchez. Now I'm going to play that in. We've still got the ball with Lalana. It's lagging a load. I'm going to play that in now to Quadrado. He crosses it in, and it's a good header. We volley it as well, and it's wide of the post. It's really laggy right now, which is quite annoying. But um, so far, he's not really posed any threats, and uh, we've got some decent chances going forward. So hopefully, uh, it shouldn't be too too bad of a game. Hopefully, we can we can score a few goals. Nice tackle there by, uh, I think that was uh, Ogbonna who made the tackle. Now we've got Renato Sanchez who's going to play that into the middle. We've got Sturridge who can hold the ball up. Sturridge is really good at just holding the ball up. Like He's a strong player. Um, he definitely is good at that. N great uh, Ronaldo chop as well by Quadrado. Giving the ball away though. He's tried to play the ball through the middle. We've got Ogbonna back. He plays it back to the keeper. Nice and easy play right there. Rashford's making a run through the middle. But we've just managed to slide across. Get the block in with Wendell. That's going to be out for a... Uh, corner right there. He plays it short, crosses it into the box. Nice win in the air there by Renato Sanchez. And now we've got a good attacking opportunity right here. We've just got Ruby running at the defence and no one can catch up with him. He's so quick. Nice turn inside. And again, now we can just play that across into the middle with Renato Sanchez on the ball. He can then play that back to Wendell. Wendell drags it back, plays it into Lalana, hits him with a scoop turn and goes for the shot. Save, but we've got the ball back with storage and wow what a save by his keeper we are all over him right now we're creating a lot of chances we've not been able to score yet though got Lallana now on the ball great bit of dribbling by him he's going to swing that into the back post and it's saved by the keeper so here we go these are the halftime stats and we've had a load more possession 62 percent and feel i've been kind of on top in this game he has had five shots but quite a few of them have been from distance uh, if we look right here you guys can see his shots only one of them was properly in the penalty area one of them was just on the uh, on the edge, and all the others were outside the box. We had a really good opportunity in the penalty area, uh, which we did nearly score from. And we've had a lot more possession, so I reckon hopefully in this next half, we should be able to get a goal, maybe even two or three. Um, but yeah, let's go on into the second half and hopefully get the win. Nice tackle there by Renato Sanchez. He just runs the midfield. He's so, so good there. And uh, we play it through to um, Sturridge, but it does end up getting intercepted. But we've got the ball now with Sturridge. He passed it straight to me quite wide really to go for the shot but if we go for the shot there well we hit the post finish that we hit the post again hit the post twice Ribery hit it once I think he was offside and also um, who was it with the original shot Pjanic there standing still nutmegs and Busquets we just brought on a sub we brought on some decent players um, I'm, I'm not really too sure why this guy is playing with like a weird United team with like not that many good players especially when he's got some decent players like he brought on um, I think he brought on Valencia, he brought on uh, Busquets, he brought on a couple of decent players at half-time and uh, he evidently has the coins 
and uh, I, I just don't know why he's really using like a full United team because um, he's a decent player. Like he'd he'd probably be uh, be winning the game if he was using a decent team. But so far we're having a lot of opportunities, and I think my team is uh, is the one that's looking the most like scoring so far. What a tackle by was that Albon? No, that was Wendell right there. Really, really good tackle by him. And now we can play the ball through to Pjanic. He flicks that onto Quadrado. Quadrado, the storage in the middle. Can he find him? Can he find him? He heads it in or crosses it in rather. And I think it was Pjanic who uh, the ball was going towards. Couldn't uh, win the header though. Got the ball back though now. Ribery's going to go for the finesse shot from range. And it is just wide of the post. Great tackle by Renato Sanchez. Yet again, he's been so good so far in this game. Renato Sanchez just wins so many tackles. Nice, uh, nice tackle there by Gabriel. And a good interception. And now we've got a few options around there. Nice ball from, I think that was Pjanic. His passing is so, so good. Especially those threaded through passes. They work really, really well. And now we've got Quadrado. He runs up. He crosses it in. And we put it into the back of the net with Daniel Sturridge. Nice finish right there. And uh, that was all from that good tackle by Gabriel. Started off at the back. Tackled uh, the opposition. Then ended up intercepting another ball from him. And then uh, I think it was Pjanic who ended up playing a really nice ball up the line. Great threaded through pass. Put Quadrado through on goal. Nice dribbling from Quadrado as well uh, to get out of the line. Played a dribbling pass in to the back post. And Sturridge actually did a no-look finish, which uh, looked quite cool. And it is 1-0, and it is definitely, definitely deserved. We're now in the lead, and I reckon we'll be able to get a few more goals, hopefully, uh, in the next few minutes of this game. Great tackle again by Gabriel. He's been really, really good in the second half, and throughout the whole game, really. And now we've played the ball out wide to Quadrado. Going to go for the driven finish, under the keeper, and there we go, 2-0 Quadrado. Yet again, very, very uh, influential. Gets the goal this time. Got the assist for the last goal, and I think it was Lallana who actually played the ball through to him. A really nice, really nice threaded through pass. Put him through on goal and a good driven finish under the keeper. Very, very hard to save and is 2-0. So my opponents just suddenly rage quit. It was like the 85th minute, I think, and uh, I was through on goal and he just turned his Xbox off, I think. You'll see in a minute, it does say that he rage quit. And uh, yeah, Quadrado gets the Man of the Match award there, 9.3. And uh, yeah, the reason it doesn't have like the Man of the Match logo is because the game didn't finish because it was a rage quit. But uh, he got a 9.3, Sturridge got a 9.1, Lalana played really, really well as well. Uh, the reason Florenzi's playing there instead of Abate uh, is because I had to use Abate for a score bit of challenge um, in kind of the meantime before I actually recorded the gameplay part of this video. So I just put, put Florenzi in um, just uh, for the chemistry because I didn't have Abate at that time. Uh, but uh, overall, the team played pretty well. If we look at the goals, one goal for Sturridge, one goal for Quadrado. Uh, we got an assist with Lalana and one with. Uh, Quadrado as well and Pjanic he was also really really influential when it came to passing uh, if we look at passes completed look at that 30 out of 33 for Adam Lalana. I swapped the formation up very slightly to the 4-3-3 fourth variation and then just pushed Lalana slightly forwards uh, that was around the 70th minute I just did that for fitness because Lalana, Lalana had really uh, slow fitness because Lalana had really I just did that for fitness because Lalana had a pretty low fitness, so I just wanted to put him slightly further forwards rather than having him as that central centre mid. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's exactly the same other than Lalana's just been pushed slightly further forwards. And uh, yeah, he completed a lot of passes in that game, as did pretty much everyone in the team. 10 out of 10 for Gabriel. He was really, really solid as well. Pjanic made some good passes. And look at that, 18 out of 18 dribbles completed for Lalana. Lalana was really, really good in this game. Definitely was a lot of fun to use. Not much play. It seemed to really go up the left. So Rubri and Wendell didn't get on the ball too much. Um, but so yeah, I think it's because my opponent had Valencia as a right back who was quite good. So I just targeted his other left back who was Rojo who was not that uh, quick. Uh, so I could get past him most times. And also tackles won 3 out of 3 for Gabriel. 3 out of 3 for Wendell. 4 out of 5 for Ogbonna. So overall the team made a lot of tackles. All over the pitch, just very, very solid. And now we can go and see the uh, match stats and everything like that. So as you see there, 2-0 victory. And now if we go and check here, a disconnection has occurred and the match report will be reviewed to determine the results. So it was a rage fit. It was actually the 90th minute, not the 85th. Uh, but you guys can see here, we dominated him. It does say that he had six shots through on target. They were pretty much all long shots. You'll have seen a half time where shots were from. And in the second half, I think he had like one shot and it was from a long way out. So it didn't really create anything. Uh, we had quite a lot more possession than him, more shots, more on target. And uh, overall, I think I definitely did deserve to win the game. And the team played really, really well. You guys will have seen that in the clips. And hopefully it's shown you how good this team is. Definitely do go and try it out. Hopefully you'll be able to win a few games with it. 
And uh, yeah, definitely for 50,000 coins, it's the best team I've probably used so far on this game. And I really would recommend it. So if you guys have enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here. Very close to 20,000 subscribers. If you could help me hit that target, that would be really cool. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.